Guard, I'm back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I was hoping for more than a summary. You know, for us to talk about it. It will have to do. I don't like to talk about Sandrak. Because I don't like remembering him as a friend. We fought alongside each other for 30 years, Jack. I depended on him, would have given my life for his. And all of that is gone. It does me no good to relive it. To let it in, I might also invite a mercy where I can have none. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror. But his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. Come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. <laughs> On my way. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Light's Army then. Medical watch, yes. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Rashanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, initiate, to why I think the unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How'd a fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. Do you see it too? Do you? you still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more fine. Another. Dead. Ugh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrax moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill with beer pong. Wait, you were there? I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the dock server in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon. <laughs> 